Hey guys, what's up? It's Vengeance of Batman here, and this is my Halo co-op campaign with my friend David. So you want to say hello? Hey, what's up? Been doing Halo for a while, so uh, gonna help gonna help Ryan out. Gonna be by his side shooting some Covenant bad guys. All right, so yeah, we're starting off uh, wherever. I don't really know. We're starting off with the prologue, talking about Master Chief when he was a little kid. That's him. That's nice, John. So yeah, look at his blue eyes. This that's not John. That's Dr. Halsey. She's the one. Yeah, I'm not going to bother with the storyline. All right, so let's let him listen to this. Dr. Halsey. You already know everything. You kidnapped them. Children's minds are more easily accepting of indoctrination. Their bodies more adaptable to augmentation. The result was the ultimate soldier. And because of our success, when the Covenant invaded, we were ready. Dr. Halsey, you're bending history for your own favor, and you know it. You developed the Spartans to crush human rebellion, not to fight the Covenant. When one human world after another fell, when my Spartans were all that stood between humanity and extinction, Nobody was concerned about why they were originally built. So you feel in the end your choices were justified. My work saved the human race. Do you think the Spartans' lack of basic humanity helped? What are you after? The others before you were naval intelligence, but you... You're something else. Records show Spartans routinely exhibited mildly sociopathic tendencies. Difficulty with socialization and The records show efficient behavior operating in hazardous situations. I supplied the tools to maintain that efficiency. Do you believe the Master Chief succeeded because he was, at his core, broken? What does John have to do with this? You want to replace him? The Master Chief is dead. His file reads, missing in action. Catherine. Spartans never die. Your mistake is seeing Spartans as military hardware. My Spartans are humanity's next step. Our destiny as a species. Do not underestimate them. But most of all, do not underestimate him. All right, guys. So that was the cutscene. And we're going to be showing all the cutscenes. We're going to be quiet during the cutscenes. But uh, we should actually be getting into some gameplay in a second. So, yeah, here we go. Starting off with the ship that got destroyed in the last Halo. Master. I, I'm not a big Halo person, but I'm not bad at the game. So, yeah, David will be the one that will explain most of the strategies to you. And I'll just be playing along. Do so you want to explain the end of the last Halo game? Well, basically, after they had destroyed the Ark and everything... Uh, this part of the this half of the ship got destroyed. Uh, no one on Earth knew where it was, but the other half with Arbiter who went to Earth, and um, so everyone thinks that Master Chief and Cortana are dead, and uh, Master Chief uh, is alive, said, pretty much. Yeah, Master Chief said uh, to Cortana, "Wake me when you need me." Then he went to cryogenic sleep. And then four years passed where he was doing absolutely nothing but sitting in a frozen tube until this stuff happened. So here we go. You know, we're going to be starting the game in a second. That should be pretty cool, right? Yep. So is there any stuff? Should I just skip this cutscene or... Yeah, your call. I'll just skip this cutscene. We've already seen enough. Um, I think we should get into some gameplay. Alright, so David is on the top screen and I'm on the bottom screen. Easy. And let's see here. Out for a while. Where are we? We're still adrift on the dawn. Why did you wake me? Hang on. 
Bringing yeah, we're hanging out in some pods or whatever it is. I rewrote your two firmware while you're Cryogenic on. tubes. Yeah, We've been busy. same thing. Cryo tubes, that's what he calls them. Okay, so we look up here. So Push. It lets us. We're going to press X to get out of here. Yep. Look up. I'm looking at it right now. You need to pull the manual release. All right, there I go. And then it's my turn. Seems like old times. It's not letting me. Ready to get back to work? There you I go. I thought you never asked. There we go. Yeah, it finally let me. I'm wondering if We've I got intrusion alerts lighting lighted. up on multiple decks. So I'm just gonna run ahead of him. Our best bet to figure out. And you hold down the, the left stick in order to run. Could it be a rescue team? So what is that on? Got about this right here. Uh, I don't know if we need this or not, but I'm gonna do it just to show you what happens. Uh, apparently nothing. I Four years, seven think I just got transported days. back to my ally. Somebody the game does found that, so... Code Zero. I just realized this thing doesn't take up the entire screen. That sucks. What's that? You know what I hate about this game is that, uh, the grenades don't do anything. How close are we? Yeah, they really brought down the power of the grenades for It's directly this one. above us. Yeah, it was pretty annoying, actually. And my name is actually Ryan, but he's playing on my profile. Be careful. So, I'm playing on player one. I'm actually not as much game as he is, so this is going to be kind of his domain here. What you got to do is basically climb your way up. And it's pretty simple. Just when you see something falling towards you, get out of it. Chief, watch out! Like that. Well, that makes perfect sense. I mean, where 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 has Batman been with these grappling hooks and stuff? I mean, wouldn't that help a little bit? I actually I actually made an Assassin's Creed episode yesterday where I uh, talked about how I was climbing up with all of here, but uh, I I forgot that I didn't have grappling hooks and I pushed RB by accident to try to get the grappling hook to work. It was pretty funny, actually. I was like, crap, I don't have grappling hooks, darn it. So anyways, what we gotta go is go this way. No, we go this way. Okay, this way. Alright, yeah, see, I'm, I'm just... I'm not a noob at the fighting part, I just... I get confused a little bit. Yeah, just assassinate him. I got him. I got him, yeah, I got him. So, let's see here. Should we just jump down there and go get his ass? I got him, I got him. Oh, get back here, you little He is gone. Here, you do you cover do you cover that side or do you, I got this guy? Just kill whatever you see. Okay, there's one guy down here. You go to the left, That's I go to the, the right. I'll go this way. Find the override. There doesn't look like there's anybody left. See what we're up yeah, against. Like we just left. have to go up here and do we have to operate that thing? Yeah. All right, so I'll let you do it. The you can take the first one. These covenant aren't outfitted like so yeah, what you gotta do is just operate this thing. We just came across a rogue salvage ship. Yeah, I, are there more enemies coming? Or? Yeah, there will be. Alright, fair enough. Get some ammo or here. We might have stumbled into I'm gonna uh, reload, please. just in case. Alright, yeah, always, always reload. Maybe. Yeah, you always gotta, if you're not fighting, reload. I mean, it's pretty much like, That's what you gotta do. Is that coming from over there? Landing craft, flanking us! Um, I jumped, ah, here we are. So you see this alien ship and try to take us. Not a smart idea on the Covenant's part. You know, we're masters of this all. You know, they never explained what happened to the whole treaty between the humans and the elites. Like, it seems like they're just fighting us for no apparent reason, so... Oh, oh, no you didn't. Oh shit, I'm shooting you. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I'll okay. just hit him. I'll just hit him. What's up? What's up? Got him. Got him with my gun. I don't want plasma pistol. Guys, if you want to know the worst gun in the game, it's the plasma pistol. Problems. It is literally a piece We've of horse shit. On an like, it course. sucks. Head for the elevator bank. And David will probably agree with me on Didn't that one. Yep. Say we still have weapon systems I'm just going to keep following you. Yes, but since the ship was yep. torn in half, we can't access the weapon systems. We'll right have here. to fire them manually and from the outer hole. there we hole. go. So yeah, guys, we're going to be playing through the entire game. It's probably going to take up a long time, just because I see him once a week. We'll probably film, like, two or three episodes every week. So I'll put him up sporadically. I don't know when I'm going to be starting it. Um, but I'll probably be filming this, like, one to two weeks before I even put it up. 
So yeah, I'm actually working right now. My main projects are Assassin's Creed and uh, Batman Arkham Asylum. I want to get Arkham Asylum finished first before I even like really get into this game. And uh, he's gone. Oh, he's gone too. Oops. Go this way. And you guys. Oh god. We kill those guys. That cruiser I'm a little are low on uh, health Assuming and they ammo. Don't raise them, that missile's gonna be one I'm actually not surprise. low on ammo, but my health shields went down. Okay, let's just shoot this guy. Come on, suck. Suck. Alright, so any strategies you can uh, talk about right off the bat? Uh, for now, just keep shooting, conserve your ammo Let's with the melee attacks when you can. Now, you've probably seen me do that a lot. I'm just literally just like, like, you know what, I'm going to do a little bit more. Killing grunts with the melee attacks is just so fun. I got him. He's gone. Oh, Storm hey, Rifle. Aw, you're... So Hold on, let me just... You can beat Master Chief. How far did this one? We're just about there. Hold on, let me just switch my gun. I'm gonna get a storm rifle. Which way did you go? In this way? Yeah. Alright, okay, I see you. Alright. Go the other way? I got a storm rifle now, that'll be pretty useful. Alright, so let's kill some other truckers. Got him. <laughs> Well, you know, it seems like a lot of stuff loses power. I'm gonna get the hell out of here. Took down the power of the weapons we know and love to make the. Oh, I assassinated that guy. Are you a fan of the new? Uh, you know how you used to be able to assassinate people? Are you a fan of the new like animation for it? Um, because I think it takes a little bit too long, yeah, in my opinion. I think yeah. it, it's a little bit frustrating because. I mean, it, like, it takes forever to assassinate somebody. And the old games, you would just beat them down and they'd die immediately, but now it's like a whole intricate, like, drawn-out assassination, so... Yeah. I don't think the Master Chief would ever actually take that long to kill someone. And it looks like he knifes them, too. There's no knives in this game. Let's say, I mean, it's just yeah, weird. I the whole, I just, I'm not a big... Came from. Yeah, I'm not a really big fan of it. Where'd you go? I think we go this way. Okay, alright, I'll come with you. If I'm wrong, I'm sorry, but I think it looks like you should. It looks no, like you. Right yeah, it looks like. It, oh, I remember this part. Yeah, then you gotta. Uh, gravity, the yeah, gravity kind of goes away. Well, anyways, guys, this episode's getting a little bit long. Um, it's about 13 minutes. Uh, so I'm just gonna cut it off here. And in the next episode, we're gonna be taking down some more bad guys and doing some more cool Halo stuff and fucking shit up with Master Chief. So stay tuned for more. And you wanna say goodbye? See ya. All right, and have a great day.